All right, students, this is the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. Uh, let's take a look at what this does. This is the famous duo that's in charge of proteins and fixing them and sending them out. So let's go ahead. Here we have the nucleus and the endoplasmic reticulum. This is called the rough ER or endoplasmic reticulum because we have ribosomes there. So it looks very rough. The ribosomes there, again, they make proteins. So once the proteins are made, they're targeted for export to the cell membrane or, or to specialized locations within the cell. Um, they complete their assembly on ribosomes and are bound to the rough ER. So now we have a protein that just was made. And so in the ER, we, we package it. And now we're going to send it over to the Golgi where everything's going to be fixed up and assembled. So we get the protein and we put it on a little vesicle right here. So now the vesicle is carrying the protein and now we arrive at the Golgi apparatus. And the Golgi apparatus, basically what it does is it modifies the protein. It improves it, it fixes it, it um, adds special tags to it so that it can be sent to the right place. Kind of like at a mail center for like a UPS. You kind of give it the right address so that it can be sent to the right location where it needs to go. And in the cell, some proteins need to go to certain parts. It might be destined for the cell membrane. It must be. It might be destined to go to the mitochondria. So it needs kind of like a little address labeled attached to it. And that's what happens in the, in the Golgi. So it'll be sent from one place to another. It'll be packaged right here a little bit more. Then it'll be sent to the other one, and sent to the other one, and sent to the other one all the way. And sometimes uh, vesicles for the Golgi are shipped to their final destination, which is outside. So this vesicle carrying the new modified protein, you can see the little tags on it, um, will be sent to go outside through exocytosis. Remember that? Where the vesicle will attach and fuse with the cell membrane and all the contents will be kind of squished out or passed out, secreted. And so maybe that protein is a hormone or maybe it's a neurotransmitter to communicate for neurons or whatever it does, maybe it's a signal molecule, but it'll be sent out of the cell. The other ones are kept within the cell, so if maybe this protein is destined to stay in the cell and function as a lysosome, so instead it'll have a certain tag to keep it inside the cell. And so that's pretty much the ER and the Golgi apparatus, working together to modify, package, and secrete, or what we call release proteins. So check for understanding, what do ribosomes do? Where, where are the ribosomes found? Why do proteins need to be modified? And where do proteins travel to get modified, packaged, and secreted? What happens after proteins are modified? Pause the video and answer these. Alright, so now what do ribosomes do? They make proteins, right? By putting together amino acids. Where are the ribosomes found? They're found on the ER, right? It's called the rough ER when you have all these proteins, or sorry, ribosomes attached to the ER. Uh, some ribosomes are also free. They're in the cytoplasm floating around. Why do proteins need to be modified? Well, they need to be improved, first of all, and then they need to have a tag or a label. So that way the protein knows where to go and where to start working. Where do proteins travel to get modified, packaged, and secreted? So the Golgi apparatus is the one that does all this fixing and packaging and secreting or releasing. What happens after proteins are modified? Well, they can either be sent out of the cell through exocytosis uh, to have a function. Maybe they have to go to another cell or they can stay within the cell and function as lysosomes or or other proteins. Remember, proteins are enzymes. They're, they have a lot of functions. So, I mean, there's thousands of roles for proteins.